the war in Ukraine is unique in modern times. Not since World War II has the delineation between the good guys and the bad been more stark. Volodymyr Zelensky's call for foreign volunteers to help repel the Russian invaders gave warriors from other nations the opportunity to strike a blow. More than 20,000 troops answered the call. Now that the West has gotten tooled up in its support, Ukraine is a melting pot of weapons. Small arms from all over Europe and the US can be seen in news footage. Most of the weapons used by Ukrainian-aligned fighters, however, are still AK-74 variants. The Kalashnikov assault rifle is one of the most significant mechanical contrivances ever devised by man. This radically reliable combat tool designed by a Russian soldier went on to shape the geopolitical affairs of humanity in ways no one might have imagined back in 1949 when it first saw service. Since then, the Kalashnikov has undergone a variety of upgrades. The first transformation took place in 1959 when the milled receiver 7.62 by 39mm AK-47 was supplanted by the exceedingly successful stamped receiver AKM. That rifle went on to become the most produced firearm in human history. It is simply ubiquitous. In the mid-1960s, the U.S. Army transitioned from the 7.62 by 51 mm M14 to the 5.56 by 45 mm M16. The switch to a lightweight, high-velocity cartridge allowed troops to carry more ammo and offered increased firepower over the previous heavier, bulkier weapons. Throughout the war in Vietnam, the Soviets watched and schemed. First introduced into series production in 1976, the upgraded AK-74 orbited around an entirely new cartridge. The AK-74's radical new M74 5.45 by 39mm round was a rimless bottleneck design that incorporated a variety of novel features. The original 7N6 5.45 by 39mm cartridge propelled a long boat tail 52.9 GR bullet to around 2,900 feet per second out of a standard AK-74 barrel. The bullet included a 22.1 GR mild steel penetrator encased within a jacket made from gilding metal. Gilding metal is a unique type of brass with a markedly larger percentage of copper than zinc when compared to more typical brass alloys. A lead insert filled out the projectile, but the manufacturing process typically left a small air pocket in the nose. This moved the center of gravity to the rear and ensured a tendency for the round to tumble violently upon contact with something soft and squishy. The burden primed steel cases were finished with a brown lacquer. The recoil energy of the 7N6 5.45 by 39mm round was 3.39 joules. The American M193 5.56 by 45mm round produced 6.44 joules. That of the Comblock M43 7.62 by 39mm cartridge was 7.19 joules. The end result is exceptionally controllable. The AKS-74U fills the submachine gun role, while the RPK-74 is used as a squad-level light machine gun. Today, the most common AK-74 infantry rifle is the AK-74M. Introduced in 1991, the AK-74M includes a side-folding polymer buttstock and black synthetic furniture. About half of the parts of the AK-74M are compatible with the previous AKM. Both rifles utilize the same uber-reliable long-stroke, gas-piston-driven action. The chrome bore barrel of the AK-74M is 16.3 long with a 1 in 7.87 twist rate. Both the front sight base and gas block were redesigned over the previous AK. Most AK-74 gas blocks now meet the barrel at a right angle, where the previous AKM version was rakishly swept back. The gas block includes a lug that will accommodate either a bayonet or the removable GP-25 underbarrel muzzle-loading 40mm grenade launcher. Original rifle magazines hold 30 rounds and are formed in two halves cemented together with epoxy resin. Subsequent versions were molded from ABS plastic. 
Where previous Kalashnikov rifles had a threaded muzzle, the front sight base of the AK-74M has a sleeved extension over the muzzle end of the barrel that is threaded to accept a muzzle attachment. The AK-74MS complex muzzle brake includes an expansion chamber, two vertical cuts at the muzzle end and three offset vent holes to help counteract the tendency of the rifle to climb up and to the right. There are two major types of AK-74 muzzle brakes in service. Only the geekiest of gun nerds can tell them apart. It is a superb design. The AK-74's manual of arms is classic Kalashnikov. The charging handle moves firmly with the bolt, and magazines are easily loaded by hooking them in front and rocking back to seat. The right-sided fire selector has three positions, up for safe, down for semi, and the middle for full auto. The AK-74M has minimal recoil and is a great rifle for the range. Ukrainian fighters are using it effectively against invading Russian forces. The AK-74M is lightweight, effective, and reliable, making it a prominent weapon in conflicts worldwide.